Let's spend a few minutes talking about being born of God. There was a conversation recorded in the Bible, John chapter 3. It's pretty familiar with most Bible students. Nicodemus, a man comes to Jesus. And he says, now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher come from God, for no one can do these things or these signs that you do unless God is with him. And Jesus replies, he said to him, most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus says to him, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus replies, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, Nicodemus didn't ask a question. Did you ever notice that? But Jesus knew what was on his mind, or he knew what he needed to hear. And Jesus told him these things about being born again. So we have in front of us Jesus' statement that if you want to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again. You must be born of water and the Spirit. So entering the kingdom is our target, isn't it? We want to enter that kingdom. And if we agree with what Jesus said, he said, hey, you got to be born again to do this. You've got to be born again to enter the kingdom. And it's neat. The born is to be created, to have like a father, uh, to, you know, produce someone. And again, can mean things like from above, which is interesting to study, or uh, to be born again a second time. So something special is going on here about being fathered again. And Jesus said, you've got to be born of the spirit to do that. That's part of this. But he also said, and you've got to be born of water. Why did he say that? Born of the Spirit is not the same as Holy Spirit baptism. And we don't have time in this to talk about that. You might refer to another video I have where it happened only two times. It happened once to the Jews and once to the Gentiles. Holy Spirit baptism in the sense of of the accuracy of the Bible was a very special baptism that Jesus performed. But being begat of God, uh, as we see being fathered of God here, the Spirit, as we truly think about just being born again, not Holy Spirit baptism, just being born again. Powerful, isn't it? Abraham begat Isaac. He's his father. God begatting us, us being his child. Isn't that powerful? Are you his child? But let's continue on here. Being born of the Spirit. All seem to agree you've got to be born of the Spirit to be born again. If you want to enter the kingdom of God, you've got to be born of the Spirit. It's equivalent to being saved, isn't it? But some ministers and groups uh, teach the end water part is not necessary to be born again. It's not necessary, they teach. But Jesus taught it was. Was Jesus mistaken? Was he wrong? Do these teachers today know something that Jesus did not know or misunderstood or was unaware of? Let's look at a few scriptures real quick here. Just pay attention to what the Bible says. God breathed scriptures. Mark 16, 16, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Acts 2, 38, Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. In Acts 22, 16, why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins. Romans 6, 3, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Be baptized puts us into his death. 1 Peter 3, 21, baptism, which now corresponds to this, that's the ark, now saves you. Baptism saves you. Galatians 3, 27, for as many as of you as were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Being baptized puts on Christ. Have you noticed in the Bible, when the gospel was taught, believers immediately were baptized? Sometimes it was in the middle of the night. When they learned of like Jesus' baptism, instead of just John's and Acts 19, they were baptized again. And there's a reason for it. The early disciples were truly teaching the gospel of Jesus about being born again, about being born of water and the Spirit. They had understood the message and it hadn't been distorted by years of false teaching or misinformation. Think about this too as we end. Some teach baptism is just a sign, but
But the scriptures show and teach clearly that through the resurrection of Jesus Christ and faith, baptism does many things. Being born of water, baptism does many things. Would Noah have been saved without water? Would Naaman's leprosy have went away without water? Would the Israelites have been saved without the Red Sea? We know God was involved in all those things, but God chose water and these signs from the beginning of time as a way of salvation and believing and obeying him. Can you be born again without being born of water? Think about it.